Stockton's to work, who's currently the mayor of Stockton. Fox 40 is your local election headquarters. Uh, Stockton Mayor Kevin Lincoln announces his run for U.S. Congress, specifically for the District 9 seat currently held by Representative Josh Harder. He joins us live in the studio to talk. Thanks for joining us this morning. This is a big task, and so you recruited some big names. Kevin McCarthy's coming here Thursday to help you out with this? Absolutely. First of all, thank you, Richard, for having me no on this morning. Today's a big day. It's our launch of my run for Congress, California's 9th Congressional District. I'm really excited about it. You want to do what you've done in Stockton. I've seen some of the videos of your announcement and, and take some of the successes you've had in Stockton and bring them to the national level. Talk about how you plan to do that and what specifically that you want to point a finger at that you've done in Stockton that would benefit us on the national level. Well, we've done, when you think about the national level, when you think about Washington, you think about blame, you think about division, you think about partisanship. Those are all things that my opponent has represented uh, it, you know, when it comes to the, this congressional district. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's, all, it's been all about serving the community of Stockton. This, for me, this is a call to service. Um, this is no different from any transition that I've made in my life to this right. point. Um, I served our military honorably. Uh, I've served our community through nonprofits, through a local church, and I've served our, our, our city as mayor over the last uh, three years. Well, and you're, you, you tend to lean uh, Republican. Uh, you served with the Bush administration. Uh, like you said, you served in the military. But it's not the first thing that you throw out there. Uh, like you said, bipartisanship is important to you. Do you think you'll be able to stay that way going into a, a, a very divided Congress, especially with Kevin McCarthy by your side, who is leading the Congress right now and is many times part of that division? The beautiful thing about serving as the mayor of the city of Stockton is that it's not bipartisan, it's nonpartisan. Right. Mm -hmm. So the deals, the issues that we face uh, in, in our district, um, they're not red or blue issues. Uh, they're red, white and blue issues. These are issues of, of homelessness. These, these are issues of, of economic opportunity and, and development. These are issues of rising inflationary costs. These are all issues that, that we have to work together uh, to, to address. But in, in some of the verbiage that you have and, and some of the information that you've released, you talk about your successes with uh, youth violence and your successes um, with uh, uh, helping combat the crime in Stockton. Uh, talk about those successes and what you're proud of in Stockton that you hope to translate to the national level. One of the things that I'm proud of in Stockton is the fact that uh, I had a mandate when I came in as mayor. I had a mandate uh, in the midst of a global pandemic uh, to provide some stability for the city of Stockton from a leadership standpoint. I had a mandate to unify our city uh, all across the city, north, south, east, west, right. build bridges with organizations, with community stakeholders, so that we can navigate that season. And listen, our nation is facing a very challenging, cha challenging time right now. And that's the type of leadership that it takes. That's the type of leadership that we need in, in Washington that, that could build bridges uh, across party lines. Do you think uh, getting to unseat Josh Harder is going to be a difficult thing? The person that's going to run for mayor after you, uh, Tom Patty, has tried it. He lost already. And Harder has already criticized you, saying that, uh, that you've diverted money away from the police department and now they're severely understaffed. How would you respond to that and, and how would you go up against a politician like Josh Harder? An indictment on me and those false claims by Cong Congressman Harder regarding uh, crime, regarding, uh, public, regarding public safety, regarding homelessness, mm -hmm. is an indictment on the entire city of Stockton. It's an indictment on our, our police department. It's an indictment on the many community organizations, uh, the Dennis Butners of the world who are out there working really hard, reaching our homeless population. When they're ready to take a hand up, he's there to help them find some shelter or find a home to walk into. Our, our violent crime is down. Uh, three per, th down 3% three in the city of Stockton. And as of today, our homicides are down year over year 2%. Our non-injury shootings, uh, our injury shootings are down 22%. We're making progress in the city of Stockton, but no one person gets credit for that. Right. And, and, that and that's the point there. And, and Congressman Harder, Josh is harder. Yeah. Listen, Washington is making it harder for people in Stockton, in the Valley, right. to live. Washington is making it harder for people in Stockton and the Valley to raise a family. And Washington is making it hard for people in Stockton and the Valley to grow a business. And that needs to change. All right, so uh, big announcement today. From here, you have a fundraiser with Kevin McCarthy this Thursday, and I expect we'll see a lot more of you uh, over the next year and a half, I'm assuming. I appreciate you having me here. Kevin Lincoln, Mayor of Stockton, running for Congress District 9 to replace Josh Harder. Thanks so much for joining us this Thank morning. You.